Nottingham. Now, have you ever thought about giving up the nine to five to follow a dream job? Well, that's what Nidge Vias from Leicester did. He quit his job in education to become a professional dog trainer and part-time shepherd. Stuart Woodman's been following a year of highs and lows as Nidge and his colleagues battled it out to become Britain's top sheepdog. When you think of sheepdog trials, your mind may wander to the valleys of Wales or the Derbyshire Dales. But it all started on the other side of the world, in New Zealand. Way back when, it was mostly male farmers and shepherds competing. But things have changed. We have got a Lady Vicar running today, and there's people that are in the building trade, airline pilot. It's going out there having a good run, and the dog works for you, and, and you're working as a partnership. I don't look like your conventional um, sheepdog trialist, um, and I don't mean the fact that I'm not wearing a flat cap. I just sat here gripped, just watching them. The day I haven't got a dog, then it'd be a very sad day. Besides his family, Nidge Vias has two great passions in life, cricket and sheepdogs. Nidge lives, breathes and loves Border Collies. But as a Ugandan Asian entering the white world of sheepdog trials, he initially raised some eyebrows. The initial reaction was, was that of shock. I'm sure some people think that maybe uh, I should be running a corner shop or they should call me doctor and uh, they see me running a dog and, and suddenly that uh, stereotype disappears. Joe, how big a role are the dogs in Nidji's life? Oh gosh, <laughs> they come first and then maybe it's me and the kids. <laughs> it's definitely the dogs first. <laughs> yeah, if he's not out with them um, in the fields or working with dogs, then he's, he's in, he in the house with them. So yeah, pretty much his whole life is taken up with dogs. <laughs> Nidge lives in the suburbs, on the outskirts of Leicester, and every day he drives around 20 miles to tend to his sheep and train his dogs. One of the hardest things he had to master at the beginning was the art of the multi-pitch shepherd's whistle. Explain the whistle commands. Uh, we've got a left and a right. We have a lie down or a stand. Sometimes we have softer versions of those as well. It's one thing getting a tone out of it, a lot of people can't get that. And then it's getting the consistent tone, uh, and that's, that sometimes just takes an awful lot of practice. With plenty of silverware won over the years, Nidge is keen for the season to start. And his first trip is to Norabati country, home Firth and the Harden Moss Sheepdog Trials. Right on the edge of the Peak District, this place is famous for being the backdrop to the TV series Last of the Summer Wine. But today, dogs outnumber the tourists in the town. Today it's the Hardemore Sheepdog Trials, our 103rd trial. Um, and we've got the open class today, which is for very, you know, the experienced dogs. Do you know Nidge? Yes, I do know Nidge. He hasn't been for a couple of years, but uh, he's been doing other things. But he's, he's back today and I'm looking forward to seeing him. Last time he did run here, he did run very, very well. See what happens today, then. Exactly. There's plenty of old hands here, and competition is tough. And there's been a big setback for Nidge. It's not a good start to the year. But the biggest problem today, Nidge, is that your star dog, Jake, isn't here. Um, absolutely. Uh, Jake uh, injured his leg, um, or his toes, rather. We'd, we're not quite sure what the injury was, but... Uh, I've still got Mac here with me and Sky. Uh, I've got confidence in all my dogs. The aim of the game is to first fetch the sheep and then guide them through a variety of gates and obstacles. Then separate the flock into two groups known as shedding and finally, in this case, get the animals into a pen and close the gate. It's all under a time limit. You have to read sheep. And if you can read sheep, you get, you get the feel of them and keep them quiet. See these, these that's running just now, he's having a very good do, he's keeping them quiet. Keep your sheep cool, keep your dog off them. The judge is looking to see if the dog and the handler are keeping the sheep in nice straight lines. But these sheep are no pushovers. Well done, Nidge. Nice pen there. One's going out the back of the pen. 
it's a little bit like herding gazelles. Um, there's no working out which direction that they're going to go in. Surely, how did Nidge do then? Six. Six at the moment. Six at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. So not too bad? Not too bad. <laughs> room for improvement, would you say? Well, there's always room for improvement for everybody with tricky sheep like this, so he won't be on his own. <laughs> After a couple of goes, three men and their dogs go through to the next stage. Unfortunately, this year, Nidge isn't one of them. It's been a busy summer for Nidge, and we next catch up with him in Husband's Bosworth. He won these sheepdog trials last year, so the pressure's on. Competition comes in the form of husband and wife team, Val and Bob Powell, who live locally. Who's the people to watch out for? Always a dangerous man is Nidge Vias. I mean, given the right packet of sheep, he's, he's always there to... You worry about him, yes. Back in the 90s, Val was one of the top handlers in the country, wasn't she? She had a very good bitch very good bitch. Is there much competition between you and the wife? Yes. There was an old boy up in Nottinghamshire some years ago. The wife was in front of me in the prize list and he said, hey, relying on wife to bring home bacon again. I said, Harold, I don't care who brings it home as long as it come to our house. First to go is Bob and he draws the short straw with some very stubborn sheep. Bob retires early from the competition. Val is next up, and she does well until her luck runs out at the final stage, trying to pen the sheep. It seemed on so many occasions you nearly got them in the pen. Yeah, but then just one of them just spooked. I couldn't get them settled enough to just get them in. I thought I'd got them one time, but that one just decided to spook. No, but on the day. This leaves Nidge. And it seems Bob and Val aren't the only ones dealing with an awkward herd. After a good start, things take a turn for the worse when they miss out some obstacles. Nidge too calls it a day, retiring early from the competition. But it's not all bad news, as he wins best of the locals competing. Today wasn't your day, but yesterday you were a winner. There's been a few glum faces today because the sheep have been rather tricky. Suffolk's uh, are always tricky. I'm sure there will be many highs and many lows. That's, that's, that's par for the course every year. It's my way of life now. It's definitely not as easy as they make it look. That's it from Beast and Lock for this week. Goodbye. <laughs>